Hi, I'm Haley. I want to talk to you about something that's quite serious. Suicide. If we listen to the media, it's easy to think that only crazy people think of taking their own life or hurting themselves. But I want you to listen to Taylor's story. She's an incredibly brave teenager, and she talks about how she learned to live this amazing life despite the scary thoughts she has sometimes. Sometimes I get really overwhelmed by my emotions. It's anger, it's pain, it's sad. I cry in my room alone. Um, I have a, a bad habit of cutting myself. Um, I write nasty notes in a journal, hopefully to let it out, and I seclude myself from everybody. Um, I don't want people to think I have problems, that nothing's wrong with me. Um, so I guess it's just a habit for me to keep everything inside, which it sucks. <laughs> I was born to a different set of parents and they were drug addicts and alcoholics and they are no longer part of my family. And so these thoughts come up because it's a fear that I don't want to be like them. I don't want to turn out like them. I tell my things that are really bad, like I'm a loser, I'm not gonna make it in life and that um, I should probably just kill myself and everything would be okay. What triggers these thoughts are things that happen in my day, like if something really upsets me or if I disappoint my parents or something just isn't going right and I get really upset if I hurt someone um, that I didn't mean to. It's really hard to not think about those negative thoughts when I'm feeling negative because it's it's a reaction. It comes and it, it stays. And um, as hard as I try, like I don't wanna think that way. I think that way. These thoughts Taylor has of wanting to hurt herself or kill herself are really terrifying. But all they mean is that the situation feels like too much to handle. Her mind feels trapped and in that moment, it's the only way out she can think of. These thoughts are actually way more common than you'd think. I even have them sometimes. When I'm super overwhelmed or stressed and everything feels like too much to handle, that's where my mind goes. I forget everything wonderful in my life and I literally just want out of the feeling. The important thing to remember is that these thoughts are normal and while we can't necessarily get rid of them, we can learn that we don't actually have to listen to them. When I have those feelings, I think that I need, I should focus on my friends and focus on my family, focus on the life that I'm given that I was even born. I do breathing exercises where I breathe in and I breathe out. And then I have a journal and I'll write something nice to myself so in the future and then I can see it. First, I'll talk to my friends um, because it's my first go-to. And then I have to build up the courage to talk to my mother because that's something she really doesn't want that for me. And um, then we'll have a conversation. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about what triggered it. We'll talk about what happened. And then... Um, then she'll remind me, you know, Taylor, I love you. I want you here. You're going to do great things in life. And so it really like, calms me down. I also really like to draw. So I'll do some art. Um, also, just lying down and listening to pian piano music really helps. I've had so many thoughts going back to like middle school, sixth grade of killing myself, which is sad. But I never thought I'd make it this far, and I'm so happy, I'm so happy that I did, because now I have a life, I have a purpose, and I'm gonna go live it. 